Hi, my name is Michelle Baltasar. So I'm going to talk about my experience going to the Glass Gallery at the University of Texas at El Paso. Um, I've been a student there for quite a while, but I've never visited the Glass Gallery before. So it was really interesting to me just walking in and seeing the way artists get their little space to display their messages. So the gallery I attended was called Your Partner is Typing. This gallery was definitely not what I expected. Um, I thought it was going to be a more contemporary art, you know, a lot of sculptures that you can right away tell what the theme is, but it actually took me a while to take everything in just because there were so many pieces to it. There was a lot of digital art used. There was close sculptures that I noticed until later on. It was definitely something that I just didn't expect to see when I first walked in. So the scene itself was placed into almost someone's almost. room or living space and you could see it, you could see where the person would lay down or where the person was eating chips and there was bags of chips in certain places and at first it was a little bit, a little bit messy almost but it was behind the message that was trying to be sent which was of a person that was almost constantly lonely and was trying to reach others through the internet um, maybe because this person was shy to actually interact with people and the whole thing behind it was your partner is typing because you are chatting with someone online so it definitely was a lot of little parts to it part um, some of the stuff that I saw so as soon as I walked in I noticed that um, this display was interactive so they had a whiteboard placed right when you walked in and you could actually write on it, you can comment on it. There was obviously a lot of different inappropriate things that were written on it, but it was once you actually walked through the gallery, you understood why people would write that. And it was more because since this exhibition was about someone that was by themselves, they weren't afraid to let out their most inappropriate thoughts or their most private thoughts. Or at least that's that's what I understood from it. So there was that little interactive section and there was a little notebook also like it was partly a journal to the person but it was also so other people could write in it their opinions. Um, so that was one of the things that I thought was really interesting from it. Um, another one of the parts that um, was different from the rest were the little sculptures that I mentioned earlier. So these little sculptures were placed on the wall. They were little closed form sculptures and they were almost representing um, different movement across time. Uh, at least that's what I understood from it because it was the same little sculpture but it was in a different position in every one of the little frames. Um, so I thought that was really cool and it was something that didn't really stand out at first sight. But once you really walked in and you saw every part of the exhibition, you could really appreciate these little things. Um, another form of art that was there was uh, an acrylic painting of a little pug. And it was, um, it was a really cute picture, but it also represented, you know, this person is in their living space. And maybe it's a pet they miss, it's a pet they love, it's someone that keeps them company, or typically... Um, right now it's really big on the internet that you see pugs, that people are crazy about pugs. Um, and this painting was really was a really nicely executed painting. There was um, also a lot of personal items on the display where you could see the personal taste of the person or the just the little things that would give you hints about who this person was. Um, the pug I mentioned earlier popped up again on an actual picture um, by the wall. And then there was the name of the artist and certain things. Um, there was also different things that pertain to her tastes, like chips. There was a doll that was there. There was different things that she would eat and just leave the wrappers. But you could kind of see what this person liked to be doing during their free time. Overall, thank you, Daniela Aguirre, for expressing your thoughts. I hope you keep doing you because that's exactly what this exhibition was. It was all you and it was beautiful because... It was so honest from you. Um, so overall, this gallery had so many components to it. It had so much just raw art in it, in the sense that it combined so many different factors, as I said. She took the time to 
do little close sculptures. She took the time to put the painting, to make the digital art, to make the graphic design of the Japanese cartoons. Um, it was just overall just really nice and it all came together to uh, project a more important message than everything together and I think that was really nice and I really appreciated the experience. So thanks for watching and that was um, the review I had on my art gallery.